My name is Karina Aguilera Skaversky, and I am an artist who works in photography, video, and performance. I would say that my entry point into art is through photography and specifically vernacular photography. So the family photo album, those were the first photographs that I saw and interacted with and became curious about my own identity. Race and ethnicity have been an integral part of my practice for quite a long time. And when I first finished graduate school, I would say that I didn't really have the language to talk about my own experience in my practice. So I really gravitated towards political subjects. And at the time, George W. Bush was president. And so there was a focus in my work on 9-11 and the U.S.'s role in, in the um, aftermath of that situation. And of course, living in New York, I was very impacted by um, the uh, terrorist attack in New York City. And I was particularly interested in um, that American response. But eventually I learned after making a lot of video and photographs that referenced that political context, the one that I came out of as an artist that was, you know, beginning her career, I shifted my practice over to a more personal approach in, uh, in which I started to examine uh, race and ethnicity through my own experience. And I grew up in Washington, D.C. and Ecuador and, you know, have a mother who's Ecuadorian and a father who's American Jewish of Ukrainian descent. And uh, my great grandmother is Afro-Ecuadorian. And so all of those identities were integrated in my own experience. And so I started to make work that um, examined those identities, but through history, in specifically Ecuadorian history, uh, American history, and how those play out through, uh, I guess, family history. So how personal history connects to collective history and culture. When you don't have enough to eat, art is not really important because you really have to focus on food and housing and really basic needs. But even in, or, or once those basic needs are covered, I think art is like a way to think about one's life or give joy and pleasure in one's life. And I think those are really important things to think about and to pour our creativity into. And so there's the appreciation of art, but there's also the ability to make art, which is something that we can all do. And that is kind of, I think, essential to the human experience. Mm -hmm. 
the hope that I have for the world besides world peace is to stay on sort of the subject of art is that integration of art in our lives and uh, how that like I said before it can not only give joy but can also make people aware and think about other subjects and think about how the kind of unknown in art can make people comfortable with ambiguity, but also see the possibility of creative solutions to all kinds of problems. I would say that I've taken a really uh, meandering career path, not in the sense that I think my parents aren't artists, so I never expected that to be a career choice, even though I it makes sense because I always had the engagement of art and specifically photography from a very young age. But I think I, I didn't, expect to um i have so many failures in my practice like in the work that i made that i never expected that i would feel the confidence um to make work that i guess i really want to make like the work that i feel like i i want to make i need to make sort of cliche, but I, I'm amazed that I'm in a place where I can finally do it with, uh, with a certain level of confidence, not that there isn't sometimes doubt, but um, I can sort of push through that and move forward um, and, you know, believe uh, in what I'm doing. I would really love to have a camera. Uh, I, it, it, but of course, having a camera means that I would need to have things like electricity, or um, if I had an analog camera, I would still need to have electricity to be able to process film and print it. So that might not be so. Um, the the one thing that I would take would die very quickly if I didn't have um, if I didn't have uh, other other things with me so maybe if I only had one thing it might end up being like uh, stuff to write with um, paper and pencils or pens or something of that sort so some way to be able to um, articulate or express either visually or with language. So I think that's what I would take. Um, not my iPhone. <laughs>